In this video, we are going to learn how to solve algebraic fraction quickly and efficiently. Let's do it. The idea is that we want to get rid of the fraction as soon as possible by multiplying it by the lowest common denominator. So the first question, we look at x plus 2 over 5 equals to 3. So the highest common denominator is 5 because 3 is actually 3 over 1. Okay. So what you do, you're going to multiply 5 on both sides. So you multiply by 5 on both equations. So when you multiply by 5, the 5 will cancel out. And you, on the left hand side, you are left with x plus 2. And on the right hand side, 3 times 5 is 15. Once you have done that, it's going to be easy. So you minus 2 on both sides. So x equals to 13. Okay, let's look at the second example. The second example is 2x plus 1 over 3 is equal to x over 2. So the co highest common denominator of 3 and 2 is going to be 6. So the best you do, you're going to multiply 6 on the left, you multiply by 6 on the right, and then you're going to get rid of the fraction immediately. So when you multiply by 6, 6 divided by 3 is going to be 2, 3 will cancel out, so what you are left is 2 bracket 2x plus 1 on the left hand side, and 6 over 2 cancel, it's going to give you 3, and that becomes 1 because 6 divided by 2 is going to be 3. So that's equal to 3x on the right hand side. So what happened now, you're going to expand, it's going to be 4x plus 2 is equal to 3x. Next step, you're going to get rid of this 3x, you're minus 3x on both sides. So what's left is going to be x plus 2 equal to 0, and you're going to minus 2 on both sides, so x is equal to negative 2. The third example looks like that. So you have 4x divided by 3 equal to 3 over 2 minus x minus 6. So again, your lowest common denominator of 3, 2, and 6 is going to be 6. So what you're going to do, you're going to multiply by 6 in every term okay so when you multiply by 6 in the first term what happens is that 6 divided by 3 is going to be 2 over 1 so it's going to be 2 bracket 4x and then on the other side 6 divided by 2 you cancel them out it's going to be 3 over 1 so 3 times 3 is going to be 9 and then 6 over 6 you just cancel out so minus x so now you're going to simplify the equation so 8x equals to 9 minus x then you're going to plus x on both sides so 8x plus x will give you 9x equals to 9 because x minus x is going to be 0 and the last step you do you divide by 9 on both sides x equals to 1 okay now we're going to do the three hardest example so let's do it okay so the next example is that you have x plus 2 plus half equals to x minus 1 times 4. Again, you must find the highest common denominator, and the highest common de denominator is 12. So you multiply by 12 in each term, okay? So when you multiply by 12, it's going to be 4, bracket x plus 2, because 12 divided by 3 is 4. And the second term is going to be plus 6, because 12 divided by 2 is 6. And the next term is going to be 3x minus 1. Because 12 divided by 4 is 3. You get rid of the fraction immediately. Now what you do, you're going to expand. 4x plus 8 plus 6 equals to 3x minus 3. And then you simplify that part, it becomes 4x plus 14 equals to 3x minus 3. Next step, get rid of the 3x, you minus 3x on both sides of the equation. So you're left with 4x plus 14 equal to negative 3 and then you're going to minus 14 on both sides and your answer is going to be x equal to negative 17. Okay, next question. Half bracket x plus 1 equals to x over 4 plus 3 and the highest common denominator is 8 so you're going to multiply by 8 you multiply by 8 and you multiply by 8 for each term. So the first equation, 8 divided by 2 is going to be 4x plus 1. The second expression is going to be 2x. And the third expression is going to be 24. 
Okay. Oh, actually, you can actually multiply by 4, but 8 is fine too, okay? So you expand, it's going to be 4x plus 4 equal to 2x plus 24. Now you get rid of the 2x. You minus 2x on both sides. So it give you 2x plus 4 equals to 24 because 2x minus 2x will be 0. Now you minus 4 on both sides. So you're going to be 2x equals to 20 because 4 minus 4 equals to 0. And your x is equal to 10. Last but not least, you're going to do the hardest lot. Okay, half equals to 2 over x minus 1 third. So what you do, the highest common denominator this time is going to be 6x. Because there's an x there, you multiply by 6x in on every term. Okay, when you multiply by 6x, 6x divided by half is going to be, divided by 2 is going to be 3x on the left hand side. Okay, equals to 6x over x. So you cancel the x, you 6 times 2 is going to be 12, minus 6x divided by 3 is going to be 2x, 2x or minus 2x. Now it's very simple. You just need to plus 2x on both sides. So you get 5x equals to 12. And then the last step, you're going to divide by 5 and x equals to 12 over 5. So this is another way to solve algebraic fraction. So if you like it, give me a like and subscribe to my channel. See you everyone. Cheers.